Hello friends, this video on symmetry part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction What is symmetry? Symmetrical and asymmetrical figures Line of symmetry Reflectional or line symmetry Rotational symmetry Line versus rotational symmetry Symmetry do you have any idea about what symmetry is all about? So you have learned about symmetry in your previous class. In class 6, we have had a lesson on symmetry. So you have that rough idea on symmetry. So I hope you can understand why do we have these pictures on the screen? So why do we have these monuments? Why do we have a necklace? Why do we have the flowers and the leaves? That's because all of these things around us have symmetry and they make use of symmetry. In fact, that is why we are learning about symmetry. Now, building a monument. So let's look at this monument. So when you look at it, if you imagine a straight line passing through the middle of this monument. What do you see? The left side, all that you see on the left side and all that you see on the right side, both these halves of the monument, they are exactly identical to each other. You see, you have a tomb here, you have a tomb here, you have a bigger tomb here, you have a bigger tomb here. And you see the size of these two are equal, the size of these two are equal. So everything is like proportional on both the halves. Basically, the two halves of the monument are identical, right? And that is where symmetry comes into being. Let's look at the flower. So when you know, when we talk about flowers, we have flowers of different shapes, sizes and colors around us. So just as an example, we take the simplest form of a flower like this. And if you think of a line like this, you see this half of the flower and this half of the flower, they are exactly identical. Even if you think of a line like this, you see that this half is exactly identical to this half. So the flower also has symmetry within it. So you think of a necklace. So when you look at the necklace, sometimes it happens that the at the, at the center of the necklace, you have a bigger pendant or something like that a decorative piece in between and on both the sides of the pendant again you have two symmetrical halves. So whether you talk about jewelry, whether you talk about monuments, whether you talk about uh, decorative items at your home, all of them have symmetry. In fact there are many interesting things which exist in nature by itself and they are all symmetrical. So one such beautiful example would be the face of human beings, even the you, even if, if you look at the human structure, that is also that also has symmetry within it. So we will discuss about all of that gradually as we learn more and more about symmetry. So symmetry is all about uh, a shape which has you know kind of identical halves within it. So all we need to do is we need to draw some lines, we need to fold that particular thing or we need to make certain movemental changes in that so that we can look at those identical halves. So basically symmetry is about a body having identical parts within itself. So that, that's about symmetry. So that's like a very basic idea on symmetry. Okay, so with these pictures, I think at least you got an idea that how these objects are symmetrical, right? You look at this Eiffel Tower. So if you look at it from this line's perspective, what do you see? Everything that you see on this side and everything that you see on this side, they are exactly identical. So basically, if, if I imagine that this is nothing but a picture of Eiffel Tower on a piece of paper and if I draw a line at the center and if I try to fold that paper along this line, what do we see? We see that this half of the Eiffel Tower exactly coincides with this half of the Eiffel Tower and that happens because the two halves are exactly identical to each other. So I think this was enough for introduction. Since symmetry is a concept which is widely used in making jewelries for construction purposes, so that is the reason why we are learning about it. So what exactly is symmetry? Now, if you talk about the origin of this term symmetry, it is a Greek word which means to measure together. So symmetry means to measure together. Now you might wonder that why is it called like measuring something together? That's because 
whenever we will talk about symmetry you would see that we will talk about different parts of one object right so measuring together means measuring the different halves of the object together so considering the different halves of the object together making it one object so that is what we will discuss in symmetry so an object is said to have symmetry if it has identical parts that coincide with each other when you flip or slide or turn the object in some way okay so let us take an example let us say that you have a rectangular sheet of paper in fact i would advise you to actually take a rectangular sheet of paper in your hand while you are watching this video so that will help you to understand the concept even practically so let's say this is your rectangular sheet of paper take a small sheet of paper and that should be enough okay now let's say that you draw a line exactly at the center of this paper like this right now if i ask you to fold the paper along this line so exactly along this line you fold the paper so what would you get you would see that the paper got exactly folded and you see that this half of the paper and this half of the paper they exactly covered each other why because both these halves were exactly identical they had the same size they had the same shape so when you placed one half on the other they exactly covered each other right so this is what you found so what does this say this tells you that the rectangular sheet of paper that you had it had two parts which are identical that means this part and this part these two parts are identical parts that coincide with each other that means that completely cover each other when placed over each other but in order to see whether they coincide with each other or not you either need to fold the paper or flip the paper or slide the paper so you need to do some uh, activity in order to find out whether the two halves are exactly coinciding with each other or not so in this case what you found you found that when you folded the paper along this line the two halves exactly coincided each other so this proved that this rectangular sheet of paper has symmetry within it so there is some sort of symmetry present inside the paper because it has identical parts which are which exactly coincides with each other okay now if i consider the same paper so i still have the same paper it is just that i am changing the line along which i had folded the paper so instead of folding it along this line so now i have drawn a line like this which what is this line called this is nothing but a diagonal that's what we have learned in our geometry okay so now you draw a diagonal and try to fold the paper along this diagonal so how would it be it would look somewhat like this so when you fold the paper along the diagonal you see that the two halves that is this half and this half they do not cover each other completely that means they do not coincide with each other even though when you look at this particular picture you see that the two halves look identical but they are not they do not coincide with each other so but one important criteria for symmetry is that the two halves should be identical at the same time they should be able to cover each other completely now you might say that okay i can cover it completely what i will do is i will tear this piece of paper and then change its orientation but you are not supposed to do that you are only allowed to fold or flip or slide or turn but you are not allowed to tear something and change its shape completely clear so what do you understand from this so you you have the same rectangular sheet of paper in both the scenarios so this proves that the rectangular sheet of paper definitely has symmetry within it that is why the first scenario was possible but this simply proves that this line is the line of symmetry so this is the axis of symmetry or line of symmetry and this is not the axis or line of symmetry so that is why you could not see the symmetry along this line but you can very well see the symmetry along this line so that means the sheet of paper had symmetry within it it was just that in the first case we chose the right line in the second case we chose the wrong line okay so this is about symmetry now here did you observe something so as i said that in symmetry we talk about parts of a particular object so here also you saw we are talking about the two halves the two identical halves of the same object so that is why the 
word symmetry has been given to this concept because as i said symmetry means measured together so measuring i mean combining the different halves together to form a particular object so that's symmetry thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you